take a look at the situation in eastern Indonesia, in Papua. We have seen incidents of torture, human rights abuses carried out by security forces against indigenous Papuans. There was a recent incident where a man was put in a barrel and tortured uh, by security personnel. When you see those incidents, what is your reaction? Uh, you know, we are the fourth largest population in the world. We are the size of Europe, mm -hmm. right? We have many incidents, I'm sure. There are violations. But you compare what's happening in many parts of the world, you know. I'm not defending it. We, we will take, we have taken, I think, our, our record. We have taken uh, measures to punish our uh, security forces who have violated. But if you compare, with the size of Indonesia, with the size of the population. The yeah. incidents seem to be concentrated though in, in Papua rather than throughout the country. How do you know that? Have you been there? Why didn't you go there? Well, it's very difficult actually huh? for foreign media <laughs> okay. to, to enter Papua. You talk Papua as if... I'm not defending all incidents we will uh, deal with seriously, but you know, your question a bit one-sided. Mm -hmm. Why don't you open the YouTube or the channels of, of these uh, so-called Papua independence movement? On their channel, you can see how they mistreat their own people. So would that be ensuring the security of the situation in Papua? How can that be done? Look, Indonesia is not only Papua. We will ensure security all over Indonesia, right? And our approach is always to negotiate, you know, uh, these uh, terrorists who attack their own people, who attack schools, burn, uh, kill civilians. You talk about one incident. Yes. Do you know that they, they killed workers on the road? Yes, I know that there are. But you didn't ask about it. How, how many workers they killed? Unarmed civilian workers. How many workers they killed? Uh, Two, three, four? There have been many incidents. Huh? There have been many incidents. Yeah, what I'm saying is civilians. they carry out acts of terrorism, they, they uh, what do you call it, took a hostage, which they have not been, an unarmed foreign civilian, mm -hmm. right? Yes. The where, where is the indignation from, from the NGOs, from the foreign press? No. I think perhaps the indignation is, is for both sides, just for, for people to, to live safely, Mr. President-elect. and. Oh yeah, we will secure the safety mm -hmm. of our people. They've been attacking civilians. Mm -hmm. Many, many times, mm -hmm. and you guys don't report them. Well, but, well, we try to report the the full story. It's there. They they propagated.